It's well known that heat is the number one weather related killer and of those deaths about 50% are attributed to a heart attack. This new study is showing that the consecutive number of days exposed to high heat and high pollution now matter as well. A four day heat wave will increase your risk and in places like Arizona we saw a 30 day heat wave just last month, but it's that pollution that now has to be factored in as well. The study put out by the American Heart Association was a big one, looking at 200,000 heart attack deaths. It tracked temperatures and pollution on case dates. And I think that can make sense to everybody if you just think about the impact it has on your car, right? Where, you know, if your car is overworked in heat, if you've ever had um, a car with a radiator overheating. Investigators found an 18% higher risk during two day heat waves when the mercury was between 82 and 97 degrees. It climbed to a 74% higher risk during four day heat waves when the temps climbed between 94 and 109 degrees. Most concerning, the risk doubled when the hottest days were coupled with high pollution. Kind of being like a double whammy uh, in terms of the increased impact on the body. ABC 15 Health Insider Dr. Shad Marvasti says Sorry. bottom line, um, those stressors are causing the body to work a lot harder. If you have underlying risk factors and you have an underlying narrowing of your arteries that feed your heart, um, then basically when you strain it, right, from excess heat or excess cold, that's going to cause your body to do more to compensate for that extreme temperature. What can we do about it? On top of limiting time outside on weather alert days and hydrating, know your standing risk. He says blood pressure, cholesterol levels, maintaining a healthy weight, and with air quality alerts. Considering wearing a high quality mask at times outside, that also can reduce the particulates that kind of come in. Um, avoiding outside completely when we have the wildfires, because that's when those particulate numbers go up exponentially. And when it comes to high pollution, people with certain health conditions, asthma, COPD, are often the ones cautioned to limit their time outside. But the thinking here is that you might have an underlying health issue and not even know it if you don't know your numbers. The study did also find that cities with extreme cold and high pollution also have an increased risk of heart attack, though not as high as that extreme heat. In Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Nohelani Graf, Scripps News.